it on the face! Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another DC Collectibles action figure review on the DC Comics Icons Green Arrow. If you're trying to pick up one of these, you can order them now. Big, 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 big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. This will actually be my very first Green Arrow action figure. And what better way to start with a very articulated figure over here? I did like my Batman figure. Uh, he's number three in this first series and it says Green Arrow arrow the longbow hunters and then on the back you can see the other figures from the wave you can see the mr miracle and we get dead man and batman and then on the side it says green arrow all right let's get to it and crack this thing open and here's green arrow out of the packaging a pretty cool figure i like the sculpt on this the paint apps came out very clean even though he does not have paint shading which i'm always a big fan of but the figure still looks really good there's some things that i'm not a big fan on about this figure though i do wish he came with a little bit more accessories and there's some parts of the articulation that I wish that were done a little bit differently. But anyway, let's take a closer look at those accessories and then we'll take a closer look at the green arrow. So we don't get all the accessories that we saw in the promo picks for this figure, but the ones that we do have here are pretty good. I like the fisted hands right over here. We get these bow holding hands. The bow is absolutely fantastic. I really like this bow. Then we get six different arrows. So we get two arrows that are clumped together right here. We get two sets of these anyway. So it's the two pairs right there. And then we get these two individual arrows as well. These guys have the little notch right over there in the little back. I really love this attention to detail with the feathers right here on the back. Then the arrowheads look really good on all of these. They're nice and pointy too. I really dig that. And then here's just a closer look at the paired arrows right there. Looking pretty good. And these have the little notches in the back as well. And I really like this bow a lot. This is actually one of my favorite action figure bows ever made. I like this elastic band right here. It's got this nice soft rubbery material to it. And it, yeah, it doesn't feel like it's going to break. It feels pretty durable. You know, I haven't felt the reason to try to stretch it out more than this far, I think. But this is just really cool. I like how it has this little space right over here so that you can rest the arrowhead on there. So I think that works out great. And it fits into the bow holding hand very nicely. But this hand right here holds the bow. And then this is definitely for pulling on the string and holding the arrows. Just like with the Icons Batman figure, it is not difficult pulling these wrist pegs out at all. I like it. The quiver looks really good on this figure. I really like this. And you can hold all of these different arrows in there so you just jam them all right in there, you know, come on, get in there. Now, I really wish we did get some trick arrows, you know what I mean? Like the boxing glove arrow, that's one that really sticks out to me. I remember he definitely had that in the comics with the boxing glove arrow, but I don't know. I don't think Green Arrow has a ton of trick arrows. I'm sure he has explosives and stuff like that, though. Like I said, I'm not incredibly familiar with the character enough to just reel off all the different trick arrows that he's supposed to have. Another thing, it's really easy to take this bow and just wrap it around his chest like that, so that's really cool how you can have him displayed like that if you want to. Maybe tuck it like that. So here's a look at the head sculpt, and I really dig this a lot. I especially like that mask. It has this weird texture to it, and they use this darker color green. It looks very glossy. I'm really digging that a lot. I like the flesh tone on this, too. The facial hair came out looking really good. That's why I have this black backdrop right over there, so you can see the details. Kind of has this pearlized paint to it. And then you can just peel back this very rubbery hood over here, which is also sculpted really nicely. I really like the hood a lot on this. You can see some nice wrinkles and everything right there on the back. Yeah, and you can just peel this back right over here, and you can reveal his blonde hair. So that came out looking really good. No paint shading or anything like that, but it's still a very solid job, I think. You know, it's pretty nice. Now, I really wish that they did something with an articulation where you could move the hood around with the head, because if you turn the head around, it will get lost into the hood. So that's a bit of a bummer. But anyway, looking at the rest of the figure, you get some really nice wrinkles throughout. And I really like this rubbery material right over here, so it doesn't really, you know, it doesn't affect the articulation at all, so that's always good. Got some nice wrinkles on the shoulders and on the arms. This weird plastic line right over there, but not a big deal. Really like how this forearm area is just all bunched up and everything. Get some nice clean brown paint right over there. Same thing on this side right over here. I think that looks really good. And I just think this whole torso section looks really nice. Nice gold right over there for the G, because, you know, Green Arrow's a G. And then right here on the legs, you can even see some nice wrinkles. Green Arrow butt. And then, oh yeah, the quiver again, it has these darker brown areas right here, which I really like. I like that little attention to detail. I guess this is the only part of the figure where you get some real shadowing effect. And then looking right over here on the legs, you know, the cuffs look really good. Get these little tassels hanging right over there. 
And there's the boots, and he does have peg holes at the bottom of his feet. So the articulation on this figure is identical to what we saw on the DC Icons Batman figure. You can't really get him to look up, and like I said, the head articulation right here on this figure isn't necessarily my favorite. So yeah, you can't really get him looking up. You can look down a little bit, and you can get him turning his head side to side, but like I said, he buries his face in the hood right there as he does that. So, And you do get, do you get head pivot in here? Uh, not really, yeah, because of the hood. Get a little bit of gappage right here from the hood separating just a tiny little bit. But anyway, the shoulders move outward that much. You can move them forward. He does have a bicep swivel. He has a double jointed elbows. The wrists move side to side. They hinge up and down. He does have a diaphragm joint in here that rotates side to side only that much. You can't get as much of a twist over here as I would like to have. Yeah, so anyway, you get some pivot right in there, and at the diaphragm it does crunch forward a little bit, and it moves back some. You also get the crunching at the waist, so it can crunch forward that much, and it can move back. I really wish this had a waist swivel. I feel like the figure really needs a waist swivel. The hips move outward that much. It does get a little bit hindered by this piece right over here. Same thing when kicking forward. And, oh, actually, that's pretty good. A lot of movement right over there. Yep, so you could definitely sit down if you want to. Can't move the legs back. Does not have the upper thigh swivel. I mean, it could shift only a tiny bit like that, but I really wish these did have the upper thigh cut. He does have double jointed knees. He does rotate at the boot. That does help. He has ankles that move down, up, and he does have ankle pivot. So measuring Green Arrow over here, he's standing just a little over six inches tall. Then here's Green Arrow compared to the DC Icons Batman, and you can see that Green Arrow is standing at about the same height as Batman. One thing I'm really appreciating about both of these figures is that they do have different sculpts through and through. I thought the legs may have been reused from Batman, but no. You can see that Batman is definitely much bulkier than Green Arrow, which is how it should be. Then to compare Green Arrow to another blonde archer, we have Marvel's Hawkeye. Between these two, who would win in a fight, huh? Let me know in the comments below. And then to compare Green Arrow to another green meanie, here he is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Hey, I like your style, man. Very nice. Hey, speaking of green, do you think I could borrow some money? You get paid in two weeks, huh? Come on, I know you got some money back here somewhere, uh huh? Now, I still wish the figure came with more gimmick arrows, but I like having the coupled arrows right here. It actually spawned the whole idea of big time letdown Spidey getting shot in the nuts. So if not for that, I wouldn't have thought of that little thing. But it actually looks really cool having him pose with the two arrows like that. And I did mention earlier that his face gets lost in the mask, but I have his head turned very far to the left over here, and it's actually not buried in there. So I do have to take that back. I do like posing the figure around. I love doing the stop motions because it really does help get an idea of how durable the figure is. And this figure is very durable. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes over here if you want more shirt in your face. And if you're of the age of 18 or older, please check out the Patreon account. Your guys' help is much appreciated. Also, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And go to ToyNewsEye.com for the latest in action figure news. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Posing action figures, posing action figures, posing action figures every day. I'm posing.